David here with Fig Boot on Pens. Today we're going to talk about a pen which is from a company that unfortunately recently went out of business. Uh, and that company is Omas. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about the company, uh, go over some of the parts and features of this pen, uh, some of the things I care for and some of the things I don't care for, provide some measurements, uh, some size comparisons, and then I'll do a writing sample. Uh, Omas was founded in 1925 in Bologna, Italy by uh, Armando Simoni. And uh, Omas is actually an acronym. It stands for Officina Meccanica Armando Simoni. Uh, and Officina Meccanica translates from Italian as Mechanics Workshop. Uh, and Armando was fond of Greek culture and he translated that passion into many of his pen designs, this one included. Um, an early Omas success was a pen designed for doctors, which actually was fitted with a, a tiny uh, thermometer in the body of the pen. Uh, the pen we're going to talk about today is the Omas Ojiva Cocktail. Uh, the Ojiva Cocktail line came out in 2015 to celebrate the company's 90th anniversary. Uh, it comes in this box. And uh, I picked this up from Chatterley Luxuries. And when you do, then uh, Bryant Greer typically uh, includes a little handwritten note in uh, handwriting that is much fancier than mine, which is nice. And you take off the sleeve and then there is a nice box here. And inside the box, it's kind of like a, almost like a suede. And it says Italian creativity history, craftsmanship, the pleasure of writing. And it's debossed into the, uh, the top here. Uh, and then inside we have the pen. It has a, uh, a nice sleeve that it comes with. And then there's a little tray and you can actually pop out the tray. And on the other side is two trays. So that if you have two things that you wanna put in there, you can. Uh, inside there is a little thank you card. And then just a, a generic book about Omas and some of their pens and some of the filling instructions. Uh, but this pen sleeve is actually kind of nice. Uh, the Ojiva cocktail comes in three different models uh, and each is named after a cocktail. Uh, there is the Bloody Mary, which is appropriately enough deep red. Uh, there is the Vodka Lemon, which is a, a nice yellow. And the one which I purchased, the Blue Angel. Now, I love this blue color, uh, but I was really not familiar with the Blue Angel cocktail. I had to do some research to make sure it wasn't one of those drinks that only girls at bachelorette parties order, like a, a lemon drop or a cosmopolitan. Uh, and so here's what a, a Blue Angel actually looks like. And it is made with one ounce of brandy, one half ounce of blue curacao liquor or liqueur, uh, a half ounce of vanilla liqueur, a half ounce of half and half, and a dash of lemon juice. Um, the pen has a, a cigar shape and is made from a, a dark blue semi-transparent cotton resin and has some very nice rhodium plated trim. Uh, it has a nice ribbed finish to it, uh, which is very pleasant to the touch and is kind of reminiscent of the columns in uh, ancient Greek architecture. Uh, we'll start with the cap. The cap is smooth and then it transitioned into some of the ribs right there in the cap. Uh, the clip has a rolling wheel design uh, and it is very, very tight. Uh, you would have, and the, the wheel really doesn't roll much on its own. Uh, you would have a real hard time getting this pin into uh, a pocket that's much thicker than just a, like a dress shirt pocket or something like that. The, the clip is a little tight on here. Uh, there is a thin silver band and then we have the thicker cap band. And here's a picture of the cap band here with the uh, Greek key design. And it has Omas written on it as well. Um, there is a small step down to the barrel and then the barrel tapers down very, very slightly. There's only about half a millimeter difference between the beginning of the uh, barrel and the end of the barrel. So it just tapers down just slightly. And then there is another silver ring. And then we have the uh, piston mechanism. Uh, this is a piston filler and uh, it can be a little hard to see inside. I guess here in the light it's not bad. Uh, if you hold it up to the light you can really get a good look at the insides of the pen and your ink level. Uh, sometimes if you're in a darker room it's a little hard to see in there. 
The cap twists off and there is an, an 18K nib with an arrow design. Uh, it says Omas 18K and 750, which means 750 uh, parts out of 1,000 gold uh, or 75%. Uh, we'll see in the writing sample that uh, this is a, a gusher of a pen. Um, uh, it's easily the wettest nib in my collection. It writes very well, but is, it is extraordinarily wet. Um, it has a very low profile ebonite feed, which on this pen is extraordinarily wet. Um, if you touch it, you can see here that if you just touch it, then you can get ink on your fingers. So you need to be careful uh, or else you'll get ink all over the place. Um, there is a, a very small silver band uh, and then there's a larger band with the same Greek key design uh, on the cap, and it does say uh, Italy on that as well. Um, the section is kind of broken up into two parts, which is bisected by the, the cap threads, uh, which are not sharp at all. It's an interesting design. Um, you can see here how the threads are actually set far back in the cap. So this is where the cap is, and you can see that the threads are kind of farther into the cap which is an interesting design. Uh, this is a limited edition. Uh, there are 327 of each of the three cocktail models. Uh, I like where they place the number. Uh, it's on the bottom of the section out of the way. And the, the, I had looked into it, the 327 is a bit of an odd number, uh, but uh, I believe it's because the uh, Ojiva was first created in 1927, which is how they ended up with 327. The pen is rather lightweight, but, but very comfortable in the hand. And even though it's, uh, it's light, it doesn't feel cheap. Um, it posts, but um, it doesn't post very deeply. Uh, and uh, using it posted makes for a very, very long pen, as you could tell. Uh, but the cap is very light, so it really doesn't throw off the balance. Uh, you know, as mentioned previously, sadly, Omas has gone out of business. Uh, their sales manager posted this image on Instagram to notify everyone of their closing. Um, they made the announcement about a week after I purchased this pen, so I'm glad I picked it up when I did uh, before inventory became scarce. The, the Pen Economics blog written by Jonathan Deans has an excellent post on the financial issues Omas was experiencing. Um, it's, it's a very well-researched and comprehensive post which contains a, a, a lot of information about what ultimately led to the demise of the brand, and it is very much well worth the read. Um, this is not a, an inexpensive pen. Uh, this pen was on sale for $370, but I feel it was well worth the price. It is um, a, a very vibrant color uh, that um, it, it writes very beautifully, uh, and I enjoy this pen very much. So I, I feel it was a, a good value for a price, especially getting uh, my first Omas, uh, and it was definitely a brand I wanted experience before uh, the uh, inventory was too scarce. Uh, so here are some measurements, then I uh, will show some size comparisons and then provide a writing sample. Here we go with some size comparisons for the Omas Ojiva cocktail. Uh, first we have the Lamy All Star, then we have a Pilot Vanishing Point. Then something more in its price range, we have a Pelican M805. Uh, and then something it's very similar to in size is the Mont Blanc 146. So it's very similar to the Mont Blanc. So we have here the Omas Ojiva cocktail. And that's a medium 18K nib. And we have the ink, which is Omas Blue. The Omas uh, Blue is a very nice blue. It's kind of a, a nice deep blue, very similar to the Visconti. Uh, they're right there in the same family. Uh, this is the bottle that it comes in. Uh, I like these bottles a lot. I, uh, I like 
the fact that once you get a little bit low in the ink quality, quantity, you can set it on its side to, uh, uh, to get at the ink a little bit more. So here we go with the rest of the writing sample. Lazy dog. Now, I mentioned this before, this pen is a gusher. Uh, you can get a, a good deal of line variation out of here. It starts off as a very uh, thick medium line, but with very little pressure, it's still a, a decent sized line. Uh, I think this is more the angle I was writing at, but with a little pressure, you can get a decent size out of here. And this paper is a little on the slick side, so I have noticed at times there's a little bit of hard start issues. I think it has to do with my writing angle here as well as some of the paper. Uh, but as I mentioned before, this is a gusher of a pen and is very, very, very wet. And in regard to reverse writing, It lays down a, a rather thick line uh, for reverse writing, that is, uh, and uh, but it is a little bit on the scratchy side. In regard to some fast writing, there was a bit of hard start issue here. I'm not sure if that's the angle I was writing at, or like I said, the paper's a little on the slicker side, but. Um, it does write very, very nice, and I like this pen very much. The Omas Ojiva Blue Angel Cocktail Blue Angel is a, a very nice pen from a company that will truly be missed. So thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you later.